Welcome to Electro Online. With this circuit, we're going to try to find the current flowing through the circuit given the input voltage, 120 volts with a 10 degree phase angle. But of course, before we find the current, we need to find the impedance. After all, the current is the voltage divided by the impedance. So what we're going to do first is find the impedance of this parallel branch right here and then add that to the impedance or the resistance of the 2 ohm resistor. Since they are in parallel, of course, we use the product over the sum rule. So the impedance of the parallel branch is equal to the product that would be 4 minus J6 multiplied times 3 plus J4. And then we have to divide that by the sum of those two, which is 4 minus J6 added to 3 plus J4. So on the numerator, we could first convert those into magnitude and phase angle, or we could just simply multiply the two imaginary numbers together like that. Either way, it's about the same amount of work. In the denominator, of course, it's easy to add that. So here we're going to multiply 4 times 3, which gives us 12. 4 times a plus 4, that's plus 16. 3 times minus 6 is minus 18. 16 minus 18 is minus J2. And then we multiply the two imaginary numbers together, we get 24 j squared, which is a negative one, but then with the negative that becomes positive, so we end up with 4 times 6, a positive 24, which together of course is 36, and then in the denominator we get 4 plus 3, which is 7, and minus 6 plus 4, which is minus j2. So what we need to do here now is convert that back into the magnitude and phase angle format so we can divide. So this is equal to, the real is 36, the imaginary is 2 in the numerator, so it's 36 squared plus 4, take the square root, which is 36.055, 36.055 with a phase angle of 2 divided by 36, and take the uh, inverse tangent of that, which is a negative 3.18 degrees. And we divide that by, here we have 49 plus 4, take the square root, which is 7.28 for the magnitude. And the phase angle of 2 divided by 7, take the inverse tangent, a minus 15.95 degrees. And now when we divide that, we'll get the parallel impedance, or the impedance of the two parallel branches. So we take 36.055 divided by 7.28, that gives us 4.95, with a phase angle of 3.18, that's negative, add to that 15.95, and we get 12.77. And of course this is impedance, so we have ohms. Now we're ready to find the total impedance, which means we're going to add the impedance of the parallel branch to the impedance of the resistor. So Z total is equal to Z parallel plus the resistance. For that, we have to reconvert this back into the real and imaginary part so we can do the addition. So this is equal to, first we take the cosine of 12.77, multiply that times 4.95, so the real part is 4.83, plus j, the imaginary part, 12.77, take the sine of that, multiply that times 4.95, and we get 1.09, plus we're going to add the resistance, which is a real of 2, we add that together, we get 6.83, plus j, 1.09, and now we want to go back and convert that back into the uh, the magnitude and phase angle part. So we have 6.83 squared plus 1.09 squared. Take the square root of that. We get 6.92. So Z total is equal to 6.92 with a phase angle of, now we take 1.09, divide by 6.83, and take the inverse tangent, we get 9.07 degrees. And of course, that's also ohms, because that's impedance. Now we're ready to find the current in the circuit. The current I is going to be the voltage of the input, the input source, divided by the total impedance. And so the input voltage is 120 volts, 
with a phase angle of 10 degrees, we divide that by the total impedance, which is 6.92 with a phase angle of 9.07 degrees. And now we have 120 divided by 6.92. That gives us 17.34 with a phase angle of, wow, that's uh, 0 0.99. I got ahead of myself, this should be 9, 9, 3 degrees, and that would of course be amps. So this is the current on the circuit after we find the total impedance. And that's how it's done.